long, long ago, there were two friendly tribes who lived fairly close to each other. Well, the season was drawing to an end when one of the young men, Quilkin, stole a sweetheart of Spoon. The girl's name was Fitzwell. Quilkin was a Lakes Indian and Spoon a Kalispell. named Quilkin from the Lakes tribe has taken Fixway and has done so with honor. That is, when a man kidnaps a woman from a tribe with no one knowing, he has done it honorably. Pixwell's mother awoke and found Pixwell missing. She went to her husband to let him know of Pixwell's disappearance. <laughs> Can't no Then Spoom, who was to marry Big Swell, came to see what was to be done about her disappearance. Spoom was furious because it was the woman he wanted for himself, and he paid many horses for her. But Spoom was very impatient, and he wasn't going to wait for the old man to take the action. He was 
was determined to seek revenge. His bad feelings would spread to the other young men and cause much trouble between the two camps. Spoon went to the boundary of Quilton's camp, where he challenged Quilton. This was the beginning of great hatred between the both young men. And it was destroying the peace between the two camps that had existed for so long before. This was a very sad thing. There seemed to be no solution. It was at this time that two medicine men of the two tribes decided that it was time for them to seek a solution.
All my people, listen to me. I hope that we are no longer enemies. We all know that Spoom has lost his limit, and that after our prayer here, we would like for everyone to join us in a gambling, a game that we have visioned here in the river. So let's all go to the camp. Wilton, you will go and prepare the sticks and the bones for the game. And Spoom, you will go and get the poles to be used in the game. Now we will be playing the stick game, and the winner will take the girl. I hope that after the game, our people will live as one. And now that is all. The one with the stripe in the middle is a male. The one without the stripe is a female. So when you point here, you point the female. And if you point out the male one, you will have to pass over a stick. If the bones are in this position, when they are passed out, or they are on the other side, and I point down in the middle, 
then I get the bone. Now, if I point out to the outside, to the main bones, then I will have lost and would have to pass over. I will have missed and would have to give up two sticks. If I was to point this way, I would miss again and would have to give up two sticks. And if I were to point in the opposite direction and point out the female bones, I would get the bones back on my side. You two are the ones who are to be playing against one another. The winner of the game will take the girl whom you two will be playing for. After this game, I hope you two will remain friends, and that's all I have to say. Let the contest begin. The leaders will guess each other for the kickstick.
Clinton has been doing very well. And Clinton has one stick left. He must win both bones to remain in the game. Clinton's luck begins to change. And Spoon begins to miss. still has a chance. It is at this point that Wilton begins to sing harder and everyone on his side begins to feel that they are going to win. Song and still some mystery to it. 